Here on campus, you will often hear our chancellor talk about pillars of excellence in academic and research, as well as leadership and character. Indeed, you are the embodiment of the creative synthesis of both academic and co-curricular learning. And it is that blend of what happens in the classroom and outside that frames very well the student speaker who we are about to hear from. What a phenomenal career he's had. Graduated from Livermore High School in 2008. He is receiving degrees in both electrical engineering and in business information management. He's a member of the Honors Information and Computer Science Program, a fellow with the University of California's Leadership Excellence through Advanced Degrees Program, which is known as UC Leeds. He served as president of the Engineering Student Council, whose 2012 Engineers Week won the Ant Eater Award for the most outstanding annual event on campus. And lest you think that was enough, he ain't even done yet. <laughs> He's conducted research at both UC Irvine and UCLA, implementing leading edge computer science and electrical engineering technologies in the medical field. In 2012, our student speaker developed an interactive mobile application to help children with cancer communicate with their doctors, for which he won the Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Research. Our speaker also won the 2012 Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program Research of the Month Award, and these are the two highest achievements awarded to an undergraduate researcher at this UC Irvine campus. Pretty impressive, yes? And lest you thought he was done. 2011, we know that he received the Oracle Community Impact Grant and the UC Irvine Alumni Association's Distinguished Anteater Award. In 2012, our speaker received the prestigious Boeing Scholarship, where he was described as a natural leader with potential to add significant value to his profession. Our speakers completed in the UC Irvine Business Plan Competition. He was awarded the 2012 Ford Ashford Innovation Award for developing a green technology that reduces power consumption in homes. For the past year, he's been a resident advisor in a research theme hall in Middle Earth Housing Community, where he mentors some 80 freshmen. You begin to see the blend between the academic and the co-curricular. This coming fall, our speaker will be attending the University of California, San Diego, where he was accepted into the master's degree program in computer science and engineering. He has had a phenomenal career. He is one of your own. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome my student speaker, Sean Thomas Burke. Give it up. Thank you. Good morning. It is a privilege and an honor to be here today. Provost Bryant, Dean Stern, Dean Washington, distinguished faculty, fr friends, and family. For the dads out there, happy Father's Day, and to my own dad, happy birthday. <clears throat> I grew up in a small town in Northern California. I was the shy, introverted kid who was deathly afraid of public speaking and only dreamed of one day becoming a leader. Not much has changed. I am still that introverted kid. However, I make the conscious decision to be a leader in my everyday life. UC Irvine was the perfect match for me to achieve this dream. Today, we graduate as engineers and computer scientists. As engineers and computer scientists, we must understand our responsibilities. We are the leaders with the knowledge and the ability to help millions. We are the entrepreneurs who must work together to create an impact. And we are the generation that must address future problems. It takes just one inspired individual with a seed idea to help many. Just last month, Isha Kare, an 18-year-old, invented a device that will charge your cell phone in just seconds. Her seed idea could affect millions of cell phone users. As Isha, said, as Isha puts it, 
I will be setting the world on fire. There is nothing stopping us from taking our seed ideas and starting a movement. We have that entrepreneurial spirit, but we must also remember the importance of collaboration. Collaboration combines the unique skills of individuals into a team. 25 years ago, custom bone replacement was simply an idea. Just this year, that idea became a reality. An interdisciplinary team of surgeons, biomedical engineers, and roboticists came together and used 3D printing to successfully reconstruct 75% of a patient's skull. A breakthrough such as this could only be accomplished through collaboration. NASA required a team of 700 highly skilled individuals, including aerospace engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, material scientists, computer scientists, and geologists to build the Mars Curiosity rover. The Curiosity rover successfully landed on Mars last August, a challenge that required great precision from an interdisciplinary team. Entrepreneurship and collaboration are necessary to solving larger problems, and it is the inspired individual, the leader, who starts the movement. We all have the potential to be leaders. No one is born a leader. Instead, we make the conscious decision to be leaders in our everyday life. Fellow engineers and computer scientists, we must choose to be leaders in our everyday lives, and we must learn to collaborate to solve larger problems. Today, we are engineers. We are computer scientists. We are leaders. We are entrepreneurs, and we are proud graduates of the University of California, Irvine. Congratulations, class of 2013.